still. She has Keenan ahead of her. It's Kiva Keenan. And it's a goal for Shelburne. Taken off possession there by Gemma Quinn. She has Letman ahead of her. Letman. And Shelburne scores. Just on to the halfway line. Won well by the Shelburne number 23. The great chance. Oh. 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 Caption, not being able to convert any of them yet. Here they come again. The good ball played out on that left hand side. Now, can she get the ball into the box? She can. Coming in, a chance to go. The ball is in the back of the net. Uh, the other goalkeeper was injured for the season, uh, Courtney McGuire. So Amanda will be playing. And, oh, oh he's all breaking through the centre. Can they make it 2 0 here? As a, they can, it's rolled in. Yes. We approach the 25th minute of the contest here. Broken up well there by Hannah Hilly now for Shelburne. Lucy O'Rourke looking for a good strong run down the right hand side here now by Gemma Quinn. She's got two already, is she? For the hat trick here, Gemma Quinn, is she? One. Just packed right onto the goal line. Mirren there is swamped. That's a super corner and it's headed. All Mirren want to see some fresh, you know, fresh energy here. Now here's Murray from distance. Oh. Murray! Oh. Murray! Oh. Yes! Which will be taken by Lucy O'Rourke. O'Rourke sends it to the back post and it's headed in. And it's now with Maggie Pierce. Maggie Pierce finds Rebecca Devereaux. Devereaux with the shot and it's slipped in. This one's falling to Devereaux again. Nadine Clare will line up the strike and that's a cracker from Nadine Clare. Chances, but now she has the ultimate chance to settle it for Shells. Rebecca Devereaux. Super position. Well. Opting to play from the back. That's dangerous. Oh, it's a goal. I, do, I know a lot of people do as well. Here's Murray. Pro kick out by Cheryl Chance for Devereaux. She's in. It's two. Shells take it quickly. O'Rourke. Cork not really set. All the way to the back post to Murray. Full of tricks. Murray, 1v1. It's in! Oh, here's young Lucy Rook. Oh, chance there, Grulick, let it go. Murray, Amahani, will she hit the first time? She does! Ah, oh, oh. she six it in! Now, Alex Kavanagh, can she get her name on the, on the scoreboard? She can! Push on Hannah Healy and a whole pile in it. Into the centre now for Alice Kavanagh. It's over the top for Hannah Healy to run on to. It's just cleared off the line by Grace McInerney. It's still there. It's still there. I want to be a manager, as I always say. A hard job. Indeed, now McLaughlin. Good touch here for Gray. She's got Quinn in the box. McLaughlin beside her. Roman McLaughlin. It's a goal for Shelley. Now she's pressed by Donegan. The good ball from McQuillan. Great ball. Finds Christy Gray. Now well, Murray's in the box. Murray! Go! And it's a goal for Shelburne! And Phillips, who has captured Royal at about under 17 and 19 there. level, over the top on the goal kick from Murray. Now well, Murray, one on one of the goalkeeper. Now well, Murray go. gets her hands to go for Shelburne! Yeah, on the Shell's bench. Still early second half, but I think Owen Warren will be looking for changes fairly quickly. Now there's a great flick on there by McLaughlin. Gargan. Quinn's in the box. Gemma Quinn. Chance for Quinn. Oh, it's a goal! This time. It's a deeper cross. Perl Slattery's in there. Oh, a good chance. Blocked. I think it's McCarthy with the block. Here's Gray back in. Slattery. Second chance, and it's there. Oh, wow. For her uh, tugging and challenge. On. Oh, loose. Murray. Oh. That's it. It'll be a good crowd here next Thursday. I always hope you get the first goal. You never know. We'll be rattled at Zurich yeah, nerves. Doyle. Christy Gray. It's three. Three goals. And also done, you know, clean sheets. So, yep, here's Christy Gray. Can Shells make a four? Christy Gray in the box. She has options. McCarn, that's four. Can he be forced backwards? And it's a turnover from United in a dangerous position. It's a one two, and it's an early goal for Shelburne. Mahoney now 
Gets past Slattery, digs out a shot, and it's an unbelievable shot. It's a good flick around the corner by Murray. Can she get past Ericsson? Ericsson keeps her there. It's right across goal. Both sides have had their moments as Shell's now come through the middle of chance. Hannah Healy on the edge of the area. Hannah Healy and she's given Shelburne the lead. And her clearance, not a great one. And a chance here now for McLaughlin. Roman McLaughlin fires in a shot. Foyle with a brilliant save. And Shelburne follow up. An opportunity to get an equaliser. Megan Smith Lynch steps up, strikes it, and puts it into the far corner. Brilliant play. Right at the death here. The header comes in, and it's another. Probably we're going to have some a few minutes added on at the end of the first half. So, Quinn. Quinn! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. oh my word, it looked into me. The referee's given it. Yes, go for Shelburne. So it's Smith Lynch with a free kick. And it's gone in. It's an own goal. Shelburne have to lead. And it's Megan Smith Lynch. It come off Stephanie Zambra. And Shelburne lead in the final minute of extra time. Banish Gonshot. Gonshot Ards. Is he hit? Plug and Groot Sigurds. He's just a goal. Tosh, he's just a goal. Yeah, well, I know Amanda from, from my own view herself and Courtney has a great ball in by chance for Shelburne. It's a goal. They're not Kate really playing out for the back. They're just they're, they're hitting the ball forward. So it Leah Doyle, good strike from Leah. Spill, oh. chance for Mooney. That's two. It's unfortunate for the goalkeeper. Get back on track after a couple of soft results recently. Now, Christy Gray, good ball in. Oh, Gray! Fooled everyone. McLaughlin. Got Mooney to her right. Well played by Mooney. Back oh, stick. It's a, ball. It's a, it's a goal for Shelburne. Great ball from Pierce to McLaughlin. Ball in for Noel Merry. Chance maybe for Shelburne. Hamburg says the Sligo supporters. Chance comes in yeah, into the back. Saying no foul committed as Kerry Lock Lockery looks to find Kara King as Noel Murray nips in there before Jessica Casey and Shelburne have a chance now for. Noel Murray, Murray sends the ball into the box, shot comes in there and in. Big games now between now and the end of the season for Shelburne as Amanda McQuillan looks to find the run there of a teammate as the ball ends up at the feet then of Noel Murray. Murray skips by the chance of the Sligo Rovers defence but the ball breaks instead for the Shelburne players. Open goal maybe for Shelburne. <laughs> goal with a 5-2 lead at Turner's Cross as Megan Smith Lynch takes a free kick, hits the crossbar. Header comes in there from... Gem. It's a huge let off straight down the middle from City. Great move. Now down the opposite end. Mackin versus Gray. It's a goal for Shelburne! Out of nothing, Kate Mooney's. Against Una Foyle. 2 0. No doubt. It's Kate Mooney. Christy Gray, chance for Shelburne attacking already. Murray's with her. Murray, that's three. Uh, good ball out to Alex Kavanagh. Dink over the top to Christy Gray. Christy makes progress inside the box. Chance for Gray. Oh, oh it's a screamer oh. from Gray. For going back, is this, is this? No, it was for the tackle on Smith Lynch. Oh, now yeah. here is Smith Lynch. Will she go for goal? She does. It's a goal. Oh. Lear and Scappy go haul in her fad. It starts could it go? David Kudzik, she just Gergen. Noel Marinish. Murray off. Fair puck, she boss by a pass all in. Oh, let's go over like Berlin. Sesh on the goalie. And a Sesh ball. Great chance here for Shelburne. Really, she needs to test the keeper here, Gareth. Kavanagh. Yeah. Kavanagh! Yes, well. Murray looks for Mooney. It has to be dealt with. It's not dealt with by Mar. Mooney, that could be crucial. Mooney! Oh. Tremendous scoring form. And we talked earlier. It's Christy Gray now, not, not there for Christy. Now it's Roman McLaughlin. We'll come back to that point in a second. Christy oh. Gray. Chance for Gray. Great save by Reebok. Oh, it's a goal oh. for Shelburne. We're obviously ready to play up the pitch. All the experience, of course, the goal region. This is the well, buddy. 
Ball will be high towards Kate Moody. Kate Moody's going to get there ahead of Amanda Budden. It's Kate Moody for Shelburne. And there's the opening goal. McLaughlin taking control. Working hard over there. Extremely hard. That was grey. This is Mooney chasing after this one and getting there and poking it in over the line. Referee making sure everything's right. It's certainly right if you're playing for Out by Brennan. Gargan in control and controlling the tempo of this attack. Roman McLaughlin. Plenty of athlone players there, and that's a third. Unity now to clear. Oof. That's gone straight to Leah Doyle. And there could be another one, and there is. Not sure that it's in the right spot. Dangerously across. Comes out initially, but only to Murray. Ooh, that is fine. Gray hitting it, and there's another one. This time. final few seconds then of the 2024 Cup final, and that is it. The referee blows his full-time whistle. It's victory for Shelburne. They won the cup for the third time. They fully deserve their victory. It was built on a very, very fine first half performance, full of goals, full of endeavor, full of creativity. Clearly everything that they touched in terms of a scoring opportunity produced something special. And their manager, Owen Weirin, in his first cup final, has managed to take his team through to victory. They atoned for the defeat of last season, where they were beaten only on penalties. And the trilogy has come to an end here. It's defeat for Athlone Town. It's victory for Shelburne. Cup winners for the Women's FAI Cup for 2024. Thoroughly deserved. Yeah, sublime Shelburne in the first half, really. They put the game to bed. Those couple of goals in quick succession really uh, closed this off as a contest. Like you said, the Noel Murray penalty, the second goal was pivotal and it really put the game to bed. Uh, like I said, just really a, a great performance. Shelburne really showed up in the day and just unfortunate for at loan, it wasn't meant to be. Well, I mean, if you've uh, lost the cup that or the, the league by just a couple of points, and you were second in the league and you lost the cup last year only to penalties you were bound to have the greater hunger greater desire to come here to put on a performance in front of big shelburne support as well here in Tallis stadium atlone town had just won the league a couple of weeks back so it was very difficult for them to come up and get to the top of the hill once again in terms of the effort and the endeavor um, They've been a terrific team in the last couple of years, but today it's all about shells. Yeah, great scenes here in Tala. They're going to celebrate now with their fans and they're well deserving of it. It's a top class performance, like I said, in the first half from Shelburne and uh, from, from their keeper all the way through the team, they, they were exceptional today. Well, they were the team of the cup competition. They've been a great cup team, fourth time in a, in a row being in the cup final. Feel, I think, and there is uh, the number 24, Kate Mooney, just 25 years of age, and she scored two wonderful goals in the cup final and uh, was really one of the stars as well. Overall, a really balanced performance, though, made by Shelburne, wasn't it? It really was, and um, like Noel said there, you know, for Shells to go a year without silverware, it's, it's rare for them. They didn't win any silverware last year, and you could see just the hunger. Um, you know, they did push that loan all the way in the league, and they were unfortunate to lose out on a head to head. So, um, you know, they'll be delighted with this today, and um, they did really put on a performance that they were capable of, like we said, in that first half. Well, they'd all have their medals, and now they're going to get the cup as well from Paul Coop, the FAI president, Barry Slattery, and the rest of them taking it. Shells are the cup winners for 2024. Very, very deserving cup winners, winning the final by six goals to one. There was no question or doubt about it. Young and old are celebrating. It's Shells Day. Now we see Rachel Graham there as well, and such a stalwart for Shelburne. She has been throughout the years as well.